guys it's your boy jojo's whips back with another youtube video and on today's video we're going to be talking about the update on my red eye and i don't know if you saw about a month ago i put lowering springs only on the rear and you know since then i've gotten a couple comments asking if the rears have settled and you know how does it look now um yes the rears have settled maybe an eighth of an inch since that video which you know you can't really tell but you know you could tell a little bit that the rear sits a tad bit lower than the front which, you know, I'm more than okay with. I'd rather have it sit like that than it does from factory with the rear sitting way higher than the front. You know, handling wise and all that, it rides really good still. I, I love it, you know, to be honest. But I actually do have a solution for the front. But we're only going to be able to do the solution once my truck is out of the transmission chop. Which, you know, should be, you know, within the next week or so. Or, you know, maybe a little bit longer. You know, they're doing some stuff to my truck. But, um, but yeah, as soon as we get the truck back, then we can start doing more things with the red eye. But since this is my only vehicle that's running at the moment, you know, I'm not trying to do anything to it until I get my, you know, my truck here, my daily driver. But, um, but yeah, once my truck is here, we're going to be putting uh, Mopar lowering springs on the front. And, you know, the reason why I'm not going to do BMRs on the front also is because the, the BMRs drop the front one and a quarter inch also, which, you know, I want that leveled look. So therefore, I'm going to put Mopar lowering springs in the front, which should drop the front only a little bit. So then it would, it, you know, the, it's going to sit perfectly leveled out. Then it's going to look perfect. And, you know, then also two point out of my driveway, it's not going to be, you know, always scraping. And, you know, you know, and if I do ever have to daily drive the car, you know, if the truck ever breaks, whatever it is, what it is, it's not going to be as low as it would be with, you know, all the other companies that sell lowering springs. But, um. But yeah, hopefully all goes well in my truck because then we can start doing, you know, maybe like a drag build with the red eye or, you know, even something else. You know, who knows? You know, time will only tell what, what brings to the channel. But uh, but yeah, I was even thinking of getting some welds on here. But so that was the thing. If I plan on getting some welds on here, you know, some bead, bead locks on some slicks, I was actually, since I bought the full set of Mopar lowering springs, if I were to go that route with the welds, I would probably put the Mopar lowering springs on the rear to raise it up a little bit. You know, it'll still be lowered, but it'll it'll go up a little bit more to, for some clearance. But I think I might be fine with the with the rear with some welds. You know, I don't know. We just have to see. But um, but yeah, I'm going to, you know, we're going to do a video in the daytime, you know, which is going to be a few seconds for you guys. But for me, it's going to be the next day so we can see how it looks in the daytime. Do a 360 view for everybody that's been wondering how the car looks now since it's settled. So, yeah, just bear with me and give me a second. And all right, guys, it is morning, so I'm going to get the car all backed out, get the cameras all put on, and um, yeah, we're going to go to the spot so we can get the whole 360 outside in the daylight so you guys can see how this, you know, how it looks now that it's settled. So yeah, just bear with me for a second, and... to the location so you can get the full view of the car as i said i'll do a walk around 360 so you can see how the front looks compared to the rear don't get me wrong it, it, it sits perfect honestly but you can tell it sits a tad bit lower in the rear than the front Yeah, 
She does look good though. She's really dirty right now. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, that's the red eye. I'm just do one more walk around, just so everybody can get full visual, get as low as I can. Got the GoPro mount up there. And all right, guys, we'll go back to the garage. So I'll talk about a couple other things before we wrap the video up. All right, guys, we made it home safe as usual. And um, actually, we're, after reviewing the footage during the day, you know, of the walk around we did earlier in the video, you know, aka a couple seconds ago, I noticed that the car does look pretty leveled out even on video. And even when I was standing there recording it, it was still like grabbing my eyes that it looked leveled out, but it, it's slightly lower than the front. But, you know, to me, I'm still, you know, I'm pretty OCD, so... I'm going to lower the front a little bit, but if you guys have the same situation I do as far as your driveway or, you know, or you, you know, you tend to drive the car a lot, you know, and it's not a garage queen, then this is definitely a route for you just to kill that, you know, that old muscle car look, which, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad look, but to me, I'd rather have it look like this, but, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully sometime this week or this weekend, we're going to be having a video finally released of the B5 S4 I have. It's a very clean car. Um, you know, I got the Precision 62, 62 on it. Nice big old blow off valve so we can hear all the crazy noises, you know. And that video will be going over all the stuff I have for the car. I have a couple carbon parts for the car that just came in. Well, the one part I've had for a little while, but the other part, which plays a big role in the car. Because, you know, it's going to be something you always, I always see driving just came in. So, yeah, that, stay tuned for that. You know, there's some stuff I have for the car that's never been done on the B5 S4 platform. But, um, but yeah, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, share to whoever you think will enjoy the videos. And yeah, this is JoJo's Whips, and I'm out.